This chicken poke bowl is such a great and balanced meal, it has everything you need for a healthy dish. When you then add one of these two homemade sauces, it will turn into the perfect healthy weeknight meal. What's great about this meal is that it's ready by the time your rice is cooked. Start by placing a bowl on a scale and adding raw jasmine rice. I always aim for 200 calories worth of rice, which is around 60 grams. Next, add a small pinch of salt and roughly double the amount of water compared to the rice, so about 120 grams. Now, if you can find this right here at your grocery store, this is fresh lemongrass and is a fantastic addition to rice. I highly recommend giving it a try. Simply chop it up into pieces, give it a light smash and add it to the bowl. It will infuse the rice with an amazing fresh flavor. I absolutely love this. Place the pot with rice on the stove over high heat and as soon as it starts to boil, reduce the heat to low, close the lid and let it simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. Next up is the protein source and I'm going with one chicken breast which weighs 180 grams. Slice the entire chicken breast into thin strips, then turn them and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I will explain why smaller pieces are better for this dish in just a minute. For seasoning, I will keep it simple. Add a pinch of salt, freshly ground black pepper and a couple of dashes of garlic powder. Mix everything well to ensure all the meat is seasoned. You won't need any additional spices since the dish is full of different flavors. The next ingredient perfect for this meal is edamame. Essentially these are soybeans and have quite a lot of protein, however they can be a bit pricey and sometimes also hard to find. In that case you can easily swap them out for frozen peas which also have good macros. Measure out 50 grams of frozen peas in a bowl and set them aside. Next for the sweet component of this meal I'm gonna use canned fruit. You can obviously use whatever fruit you prefer but I personally like pineapples because it pairs really well with the chicken. Take out 100 grams of pineapple and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Pieces. Moving on to the fat source, I will be adding half of an avocado. Remove the pit and place the flesh on a cutting board. Avocado contains a good amount of unsaturated fats, but it's also very calorie dense, so be mindful not to overdo it, 60 grams should be enough. Once again, cut the avocado into bite-sized pieces and set them aside. Now let's prepare the vegetables. My personal favorites for this meal are bell peppers and carrots, but feel free to add other vegetables as long as you like to eat them raw. Peel and then chop up 100 grams of carrots. Now, the last and in my opinion most important thing to prepare is the sauce. Starting with one of my all-time favorites, place a bowl on a scale and begin with powdered peanuts. This is essentially peanut butter with most of the fat removed, turning it into a powder with a lot of protein. Add 9 grams, which is roughly 2 teaspoons to the bowl. Next, add 5 grams of honey for a touch of sweetness, followed up by the juice of half a lime, a couple of dashes of garlic powder, and finally, soya sauce. Begin with 15 grams of soya sauce and mix everything together with a spoon. If the consistency isn't to your liking, as you can see here, this is way too thick, you can add another 5 to 10 grams of soy sauce and continue stirring until you get to the desired thickness. I'm making it slightly thicker for the pictures, but 25 grams of soy sauce should result in a good sauce. The next sauce starts again with a bowl on a scale and this time I'm using light mayonnaise. This has a lot less calories than regular mayonnaise that is basically pure fat. However, if you cannot find it, here are a couple of substitutions. Skier, which are often used in my recipes, non-fat Greek yogurt or also plain 1% fat yogurt. Plain yogurt has half the protein of skier, but since we are not adding much to the recipe, it's not that big of a deal. However, if you use a substitute, you need to add 5 grams of honey or it could be not sweet enough. Regardless of your choice, add 25 grams to the bowl using the tear function on your scale. The next ingredient is sriracha. Now, apparently there is some kind of chili shortage, so you can also use another spicy sauce like Frank hot sauce or even mix zero added sugar ketchup with a few dashes of cayenne pepper. 5 grams of sriracha goes into the bowl, followed up by 2 teaspoons of pickle juice, a couple of dashes of garlic powder, a pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Mix this for about a minute until it becomes a smooth and creamy consistency. This sauce tastes also great with any kind of meal that uses ground beef. You need to try this out. And if you liked it, you need to check out my cookbook. There are over 190 recipes developed with high protein and low calories in mind, so you can have all the delicious meals you are thinking of just made healthier so you can lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. Whether it's breakfast, lunch or dessert, or even nutritional tables for lean protein sources and calories and vegetables, everything you need is in there. And the best part is that I'm constantly updating the book and you will receive 
every single update for free once you've purchased it. You won't regret buying this, link is in the description. So let's get cooking. Add a bit of oil to a pan over medium high heat and start with the peas. Because they are frozen, just cook them for one minute, mixing them and then remove them from the pan, that is enough. Add a bit more oil to the pan and now add your sliced chicken breast. Spread the chicken around so as much meat as possible comes in contact with the pan for maximum browning, let it sit there for about a minute and then start checking the bottom for some color. As soon as the chicken has browned, like it is here, flip all of the chicken let it fry for another minute. The chicken is very thin, so it needs a maximum of two to three minutes to cook, so be careful to not overcook the meat. At this stage, the rice should be ready as well, so remove the lemongrass if you have used it and place the rice as the bottom layer in a bowl. Then add all other ingredients around the plate and lastly, add the cooked chicken to the middle of the bowl. This is already a great meal, but if you now add the sauces on top, it will be absolutely delicious. Please try the peanut sauce first, I really think this one is a game changer. And what's cool about this meal is that you can simply combine all the ingredients and because everything is cut into bite-sized pieces, you can enjoy a very variety of flavors with every bite. The entire meal without the sauce comes in at 694 calories, 81 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein. The sauce will add another 60 to 80 calories on top. After this meal, you will probably want some dessert as well, so click on this apple cake video with 93 grams of protein and see you there.